Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video, uh, a how-to on how to install the three-way bypass. Um, if you have a killer chiller and a 2016 Camaro SS, uh, which I've the instruction manual for the killer chiller for the 2016 Camaro SS um, with a root style blower is on Joe Kincaid's website, killerchiller.com. Uh, I wrote the manual. I did mention in the middle of the instruction manual, uh, if you want to lower your IETs even more, you might consider completely removing the front mount Edelbrock heat exchanger and running some coiled up hose in there, which uh, you can do, but the downside to that is you've got to run your air conditioning all the time because um, you, don't, you don't have a front mount. So if you were to turn off the air conditioning or have an air conditioning failure, um, you would not be cooling your IETs whatsoever. Uh, your fluid through you know the typical front mount um, so that would result in very high IATs so what I ended up deciding to do is I installed a three-way bypass that you can get from Joe um, and this allows you to keep the Edelbrock heat exchanger in the loop but you can bypass it at will so I have it bypassed currently when the when it's facing down that means it's going to be bypassed and it's not going through the heat exchanger you only want uh, to be bypassing it when your AC is on. Uh, in the event you ever want to turn the AC off or you have an AC failure, um, you would want to turn this this direction and then your system operates as normal as Edelbrock designed going through the heat exchanger. So, I have, uh, you've got your, your um, hose running from the pump and this is the fluid direction from the pump and you come down behind the crash support and this is where you plumb in the three-way. Um, the end to the Edelbrock heat exchanger is at the base of the front mount. So you plumb in your three-way just before the end to the heat exchanger. Um, and right now I have it bypassed, so it's gonna divert the fluid this direction. So this is my bypass hose. It's three-quarter hose, and here's how I did it. Um, to back up a little bit, your, your Edelbrock system, as is, is roughly, uh, has about a gallon of fluid uh, capacity. Um, if you bypass your front mount heat exchanger, you're taking the volume that was, you know, the fluid that's in the heat exchanger itself uh, out of the loop. So you're going to be down to probably, you know, six tenths of a gallon maybe. Um, you want to get that fluid capacity back up to at least a gallon um, with the killer chiller. Um, so to do that, you need to run a lot of extra hose, or that's that was my choice to, to do it that way. Um, so how I did it is I've got three-quarter hose running from the bypass down here. I've got an extra hole here. Now the way you have to do it to get the front bumper to fit is you need to hug the hose against um, that radiator and you need to kind of have it bent back and what I did here is I actually went through the crash support. This was kind of a take two because originally I had it going like this and the bumper part hit this. So this originally was a Pegasus Auto Racing Supplies 180 degree one inch elbow, which I cut in half. And I've kind of got it more of a 90 now, um, but this is, this is three quarter hose. That's an adapter that wraps it up to a one inch hose. So one inch hose, and then I've actually got it going through the crash support, one inch ID hose through the crash support all the way to the other side. We come out here, that is a, and I didn't care it was blue because they didn't have black in stock and you're not gonna see it, but there's a blue 180 degree one inch Pegasus Auto Racing Supplies elbow that goes under the driver's side headlight. Comes up here, I've got it routed as close to the top as I can to maintain airflow here. We go over here, we got another 180 degree Pegasus one inch elbow that and then we run back and we hug the bottom as much as possible again to maintain airflow through here. Um, you kind of got to go over that there. I've got a little pad there to protect the hose. Then this black one right here is a 90 degree elbow that um, starts at one inch and tapers down to three quarter inch uh, as you go down. Again, that's from Pegasus Auto Racing Supplies. Um, from the factory right here, you have two black plastic pieces that come out. And what I did is I've got three-quarter hose. I've got 11 feet of three-quarter ho hose coiled up there, zip tied back. And then I went through here. And then here is a three-way uh, three joiner 
So when it's bypassed, you've got the cold fluid. This is your fluid direction. It goes through here, goes that direction into the killer chiller. Now, if you're running through the traditional Edelbrock front mount heat exchanger, your fluid will go through the heat exchanger, come out of the top of the heat exchanger, come down here, and go this direction. So basically, when you're bypassed and the fluid's going through here, you have fluid in here that's still in the system, it's just stationary and not moving, and your fluid direction is this way. Um, vice versa, when you're going through the heat exchanger, the fluid's coming down this direction, and then your bypass fluid is just stationary and sitting there. So um, with the way I did it, my total fluid volume for the entire system is just under two gallons. So I'm hoping that's gonna be enough. Um, it should be. Now, next thing is, okay, so what if I'm driving down the road and all of a sudden my AC gives out on me? Or let's just, just say I wanna turn off the AC and I don't wanna to have to take off the front bumper to change this. What I did is I have cut out this right here and then there's a black plastic piece from the factory that goes underneath it and I've cut out likewise in the exact, exact same spot. And I'm gonna put it all back together and this will allow you to reach in from under the car like so, reach up, or vice versa, uh, and then you're good to go and then you're bypassed. So, uh, you know, it's really cool. I cranked up the car here in the garage after I got it filled, did the, the, uh, the vacuum fill system, got it filled up, got most of the air bubbles out. Just sitting in the garage with the AC on and an idling, the bypass hose, uh, so cold that it was sweating. And then it was kind of neat because when it's bypassed, you go fill this hose, which was the hose where you've got the stationary fluid and it's just lukewarm. So I thought that was really cool. And then looking at my IATs, and again, this is just in the garage, kind of revving it up a little bit after it's been in the garage and idling for quite some time. I'm gonna say the IATs have dropped another 12 to 15 degrees, which uh, which is really awesome, which is exactly what I was going for. So I'm excited to get it, uh, get the bumper back on, get it on the road, and, and get some real world uh, testing. But uh, uh, that's how I did it. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to hit me up, and um, take care.